It's nice and warm, it's not as cold out here as it's usually been, so let's get it done. Sakef are known for both quality and extravagance, especially with their Muon speakers, which are just completely bonkers. A pair of their more subtle speakers, though the new LSX range, has just been released and we were fortunate enough to try them out. They retail for a cool £1,000 and come in five different finishes, but how well do they perform? Well, let me tell you. So as I just mentioned, this 2.0 speaker system comes in five different finishes, including black, gloss white, olive, blue and maroon. The speakers include a plastic front, rear and bottom with a fabric wrap around the sides. Each speaker includes a 4.5 inch woofer and a 0.75 inch tweeter, or also known as the UniQ driver array. So a quote from Kef states that by placing the tweeter at the center of the mid-range and bass cone, it radically improves stereo imaging. This not only makes music sound clear, detailed and lifelike, it does so across a wider listening area. So to the actual front of the speakers is a single indicator light, which changes color depending on function. It also offers noise notifications as well, depending on the input being used. If you're looking at the master speaker, you will find on the back inputs such as an optical port, an auxiliary jack, a Bluetooth 4.2 with an aptX codec, a mono port for a subwoofer, a USB port which allows you to charge your phone at 5 volts or 2 amps, an Ethernet in for network connectivity, a pairing button, slave out and power. On the slave speaker is the two master Ethernet input, a pairing button and power in. Yes, I will say both of these speakers do require 230 volt power and two meter cables are provided for that, but it's worth bearing in mind when positioning. The two speakers are connected together via a Cat6 cable also provided or wireless when uh, connected to your home network. Along with the speakers and cables, there is also a remote control in the box along with instructions. So in general, there is very little setup required and all you will need to do to get them going is simply link the two with an ethernet cable provided and then power them both. All the options and settings are detailed in the instruction manual if you do need any help. For me though, I initially used the Bluetooth feature, which I set up via the Bluetooth button on the rear of the master speaker, linked it to my smartphone and started listening to music. It was just easy as that. I also used the optical win option, plugging directly into my TV to try out some movies. The supplied remote control is handy. It's easy to use and avoids the need of getting to the rear of the speakers once you found a home for them. So the actual remote comes with only minimal control, which include things like uh, power on and off, a source selector, volume up and down, play and pause, a mute button and skip track. Setting up the LSX speakers onto my wireless network was also a pretty easy feat and I was up and listening to Spotify in no time. The instruction manual gave me extremely bland details on how to get this set up. Instead, it relied on the step-by-step -step guide provided by the Kef Control app. Following those was simple enough, it gave me a prompt to plug both speakers into power and it told me there would be an amber white flashing light. Once both speakers were flashing, the app asked me to open my Wi-Fi settings on my phone to find the speakers in there. To be honest though, the speakers in my setup would either be hardwired into my PC on my desk or either side of my TV, so a wireless setup wasn't really a priority for me. So at a glance, up close or any way you look at these speakers, they look superb and ooze elegance. The attention to detail is very good and the overall footprint of the speakers is about right. It's not too overpowering on a sideboard or bookshelf, but they do also stand proud when in a room. I'm not quite sure what to say for how they perform other than that it's exceptional and a true pleasure to experience. I've tried a fair few speaker systems before, albeit sometimes on the cheaper scale and we've mainly experienced high-end brands at trade shows in custom-made boots and yes they sounded great but when you get them into your own space with your own music then it's just wow. The quality of the sound produced from these speakers absolutely blew my mind. They were crisp, defined, pinpoint sound, beautifully balanced with so much punch and liveliness. It gave me kind of a warm, fuzzy feeling inside and brought really brought a smile to my face. I put on a variety of music. Uh, Nick showed his kids some movie soundtracks that they enjoyed, some bass heavy tracks like Boasty by Wiley, for example, and then some of my favorite rock tracks, all of which sounded absolutely fantastic. It's really the best I've ever heard them before. So in terms of frequency range and response, it depends on how the speakers are set up. The frequency range, which sits at minus six decibels is measured at 85 decibels. 
over one M. There's a more base extension setting which will maximize the frequency range up to 49 Hertz to 47 kilohertz. Similarly with the frequency response which sits at plus three decibels and the more base extension setting sits between 54 Hertz and 28 kilohertz. Now, when I set this up with my TV, I went straight to the first action movie I found on Netflix and skipped to a, a, a good bit of action. Now I wasn't disappointed. The dialogue was absolutely crystal clear and yet there were booming thumps from explosions coming through as well. Now I miss surround sound, but boy were these fun to use when watching movies. I, they sounded really, really good. So the speakers themselves are Wi-Fi enabled, meaning you can connect them to your home network and via the Kef Control app, push the latest firmware software to the speakers. They also have Spotify Connect and Tidal built in, plus DLNA compatibility, allowing access from an edge drive at 48 kilohertz, 24 bit resolution. Hardwire the speakers into your network to gain increased resolution of 96 kHz 24-bit resolution. The speakers are complete with Apple AirPlay 2, allowing you to control multi-room audio from your iPhone or iPad. There is a sub out option if you wanted to add a subwoofer, but they really don't need it on their own unless you are planning to use these on a big scale setup for a large space. So the Kef LSX speakers are some of the best I've ever heard and they have been very well designed as well. They're packed full of tech and they should bring joy to any audiophile. They come in a variety of finishes and with a retail price of a thousand pound, they are not cheap, but worth every penny. So thank you very much for checking out our video review of the Kef LSX 2.0 speaker system. If you enjoyed this video, then do click that like button. Please do subscribe to keep up with all of our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments below what you think about these speakers, whether you would go for something like this for your PC or TV setup, or you would go for something like a soundbar, for example. Soundbars are getting popular now. As I say, let us know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.